Alright, today we are doing a video on the basic parts of a tire. And I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Tires are often very, very overlooked, but they are the most important part of a car because they affect so many things about how the car drives. And so I wanted to point out some different things uh, about the tire, different parts, and what different things on the tire mean. So uh, you're not going to see a whole lot of my face in this video, if any. Uh, we're mainly just going to be pointing out different things on the tire, and I'll show you and explain what different things mean. So we'll start here on the outside. Uh, we're going to start very basic and then get more in depth. So this part here is the sidewall, the part that goes all the way around the outside. It is the sidewall. Not a lot of people know that, surprisingly. And on the outside of the sidewall, we have a lot of different things that mean uh, different things to us. So on one side here, we can see it says Goodyear on the bottom, and then up here it says Eagle GT. So that's the uh, make and model of the tire. And then as we go around the sidewall, uh, different things will be labeled periodically. So you'll have the size, uh, the DOT number, the load rating, the speed rating. Uh, those are all separate videos about the sizing and all that. Um, you don't really need to know a whole lot about like the DOT number, the max load, all of that. Um, but it is labeled on the outside of the tire if you wanted some more technical information like that. One thing I will point out is somewhere on the outside of this tire, it says side facing outwards or outside. This is a non-directional tire so it can be mounted um, the tread facing whatever way but as long as the side labeled outside is on the outside we're good. There are some tires that have to be have to be mounted pointing a certain way. So you'll notice in the tread the tread kind of points towards one direction and on the outside usually in two places it will be labeled rotation with an arrow. But most tires, like this all-season tire here, uh, do not have a directional tread pattern. So you just mount the tire where it says outside, uh, facing outside. And this video is geared more towards an all-season tire. This is a great one for demonstration purposes um, because it provides a few different attributes of different types of tires, uh, but this, like, like I said, this video is geared towards an all-season tire because that's the most common tire in America on many, many different vehicles. Uh, I might do separate videos on summer tires and winter tires in the future, but for right now, we're just covering an all-season. So now that we've learned a few basic things about the outside, let's move to the more important part of the tire, which is the tread. Okay, so now we're looking at the tread of the tire, and I believe this is the most important part of the tire. So here on the outside of the tire, it's outside because it's the side where the spokes of the wheel are, where the lug nuts are. This is considered the outside. And on this tire, we have these large uh, parts here. These are called tread blocks. So there's a uh, distinct separation on this, each side of one of these. And it's called a tread block. This tire has large tread blocks. And uh, that means that the steering response is going to be better than a tire with smaller tread blocks. And also, it's just going to give us a more confident feel. And you'll feel more of the road through the tire on one with larger tread blocks like this. Now you notice the size of the tread blocks varies as we move around the tire. So we have a large one here, then it gets smaller and smaller, and then we start getting larger again as we go down the tire. This decreases road noise. If you have blocks that are all the same, the road noise will be much greater. Uh, but for some scientific reason, varying the size of the tread blocks decreases road noise. So the, you see that on almost every single tire. As we move further in, um, this is a little bit different because this part here is wavy, uh, but these parts here are called drainage sipes. Uh, there's a couple different names for them, but I usually call them drainage sipes. So these large circumferential grooves evacuate most of the water from the tread. So as you're driving along, uh, the tread hits the road and uh, the water is drained through here. So that kind of wipes the water away from the tread and gives it a place to collect. And you'll often see it coming out uh, the back side of the tire shooting out from these uh, grooves. So next up, uh, as we move further in, we have these little slits here. Uh, you see most of them on this part here, but there's also a few here. And these little slits are usually angled, and they are called sipes. Uh, we have some wavy ones here, those are harder to see, just because this tire has some wear on it. But if it had, if it had more tread, these wavy ones would be uh, more visible. But anyway, these little slits are called sipes, and they grab on 
to the road. So as the tire moves, the tread kind of bends a little bit, and these uh, these grooves right here provide like a biting edge on the road to help pull the car along. So these are great in icy and snowy conditions as well as wet conditions. You see a lot of sipes on winter tires uh, because they need a lot of biting, gripping power to get through snow. Uh, but they are quite often seen on all season tires, just not as many of them. So this part here um, has a lot of different sipes in it. And on a summer tire, this would most likely be one solid piece of rubber. And um, actually on this tire, these are designed to kind of mash together under cornering. Uh, because if this is solid, it gives you a much better steering feel. Uh, and it makes the car more stable. So, uh, but on this tire, like I said, these are actually designed to mash together under uh, cornering. So it gives you kind of a better feel. But it also has the sipes here to give a biting edge in snow and ice. And the wavy sipes here also do the same thing. They just have more um, edges, I suppose you could say, to grab on. And also the wavy sipes help suck up water uh, from the road and from around the tread, which is pretty cool. Uh, sometimes these are actually 3D, so they're bigger on the inside as you get closer to the center of the tire to also help suck up water and whatnot uh, when the tire is moving. One more thing I want to point out is in these grooves, uh, there are these little bars that stretch across. You can see one down here, uh, there's one there, there's one here, uh, there's one here. So uh, these are called wear indicators. And when the tread of the tire becomes flush with that wear indicator, that means it's time to replace the tire. The tread has worn so much that you need to replace it. Um, so it can vary from 20,000 miles to 90,000 miles. Just depends on the tire that you have. But that is called a wear indicator. So there's a quick video on the different parts of a tire and what the different parts mean. There's a lot more you can know about tires, but that's just kind of a basic overview uh, for those of you who don't really know a whole lot about tires but want to learn more.